All right, hello again, fabulous friends. So if you are ready to get going on this with me, we are going to open right now a um, Phyrexia set booster box. So 30 um, packs basically in these uh, booster boxes of uh, set booster boxes to be precise. Oh, well, as I mentioned. And as we go through this opening, I have a ton of things uh, to talk to you about. So uh, many subjects we, we will... Uh, be handling with respect mainly to a new C TCGs coming out in 2023 and also Lorcana that I want to talk to you about that is uh, obviously you guys have heard by now but uh, anyway so as we go along here we're gonna be talking about those other TCGs and so on um, well first of all I would like to know if you guys had a particular team you were going for did you win your Super Bowl um, all right, this is uh, basically the, uh, <laughs> I've opened another box just before, well, yesterday actually, uh, set booster box here, and we get our um, art series card, and if you turn upside down, you get the, uh, you get your best cards first, so maybe we can just do that, and we won't have to go through the, uh, through the other. So here we get basically our uh, token card, and uh, what are we getting here? We're getting a foil card, just a common card. This is our, here we go with our rare, so Blue Sun's Twilight, Blade Ambassador, and then back to the, uh, as we're working backwards here, we get our uncommon cards and our common cards here at the end. These, if you are in Canada, by the way, are made, uh, I believe these are all like the uh, Made in Japan cards, so they're very uh, glossy type, they're not dry, they're not, I mean... They don't uh, warp at all. They're very straight, extremely good quality. Recently, I bought some um, remastered, uh, Dominaria remastered packs in uh, Florida, so in the States, and they were made in the States, and it seems that the quality is not as good. So fortunately for us here in Canada, we get the product made from uh, in Japan, so we're getting some uh, fairly good uh, quality cards. So I'm just going to put the uh, this down. As you know, we get an Artist Series card in every pack here. Uh, one in 20 is a, oh, Cyan of Draco. Here we go with a, uh, list card that is a mythic rare. So we're gonna, yeah, one out of four packs here with the list cards, as you guys probably know also. So that's a pretty good, uh, pick up here in terms of list, cards from the list. And foil, obviously, uh, Zenith Chronicle, Chronicler is our rare. And then, uh, this is the showcase version for this set, right? As you can see here, a couple of, uh, uncommon cards and... Back to the, uh, well, the comments here are have absolutely no, well, interest if you know what they are, who, which cards they are, and uh, if you've seen them all before, I mean, we're a couple of weeks now into the, uh, well, actually one week and a half into the, um, the uh, arrival of this set on the market, so here we have, uh, yeah, we have the token card on the other side, so we'll just uh, separate it right away, and we have a... Uh, Razor Verge Thicket Land here. This is our rare card. Now we're getting a double rare. So Geth Thane of Contracts and uh, a bunch of the rest, as you can see. Let's get uh, to our to our talking here. So don't forget to leave in the in the sample uh, in the sample in the comments section if you want or not your Super Bowl. I did because I was kind of I like both teams, the Eagles and uh, obviously and the uh, Kansas City Chiefs, but I was kind of hoping Mahomes would get his second. Uh, his second Super Bowl over with quickly. Uh, not that I disliked the Eagles. Uh, I didn't really mind that much who won, but I had a preference for Kansas City. So, yeah, I won my Super Bowl, <laughs> right? So here's our foil card. We're getting a Razor Verge Thicket again. Okay, rare. And then all these uh, rest of the cards. So we basically don't need to get through them. Okay, these uh, in the foil versions are very, very uh, nice to look at. So, uh, everything's mixed up here. All I, well, actually, we're just going to separate Mythic Rare. Just going to count those. All right, so let's get to um, talking about other TCGs. Now, TCGs that have been, that are coming out this year, I mean, don't underestimate the fact this year, 2023, is going to be um, a big year for, still for uh, new TCGs coming out. Because if you were on the lookout for those uh, Kickstarters, oh, here we go, Kaya, Azov's Urzerper, I think that is... Uh, uh, from Ravnica, I guess. Is that the Ravnica? Yeah, Allegiance. Um, yeah, I think it is. Anyway, so we're getting another card from the list. So two cards from the list that are actually mythic rares here. This is our foil, and we're getting uh, Shrevel's Hive rare and the rest. 
Okay, so because if you'll recall, because of the uh, pandemic, a lot of uh, there was a lot in the Kickstarters. If you guys got involved with Kickstarter and, uh, you know, uh, if you uh, backed a lot of the uh, new sets that are coming out, you uh, must you must know by now that there's like this year Spells of Magic, Sorcery, uh, Grand Archive, a whole bunch coming out and Lorcana later in the year. So, I mean, whether we uh, when you th come to think of it, there is a lot of stuff coming out this year. OK, what did I see here? Did I see the Eternal Wanderer, which is a um, Planeswalker card, a rare card? Okay, so this is actually the foil that we get. So we will get another rare that we've picked up already here. And we get Ixhel, a sign of Atraxa. This is, a, however, the com a Commander Mythic Rare card from Phyrexia. So as you can see, the O-N-E is replaced by O-N-C for Commander. So Commander card, which I will put aside here. And then we get back to the cards that uh, we know. All right. So I didn't uh, actually pick up this one at the beginning. Still no signature from the artist. Okay. So let's first of all, uh, I want to talk about those that I personally um, backed on Kickstarter. And um, what do you know with all the, you know, the things that late printings and uh, things that were put off and how we're actually get, getting them, it seems, all in the next few months. And here I'm talking about, for example, Spells of Magic. Now, Spells of Magic is a Canadian-made game uh, in Moncton, actually, Moncton, Eastern Canada. So here is our, uh, our foil and Conduit of Worlds. Okay, rare. And here we get another Commander card. Yeah, so uh, out of... Uh, and Christian uh, Weaver is the... Uh, the maker, the inventor, or the producer of the game, and he um, has been giving us a lot of follow-ups and, you know, very, very uh, trustworthy, I, I could say, because uh, everything he said that would be done with his uh, new TCG called Spells of Magic was done, and what do you know, we are apparently going to take delivery of the product this, uh, this coming, like, within a month or so, so in March... Oh, here we go with Phyrexian Vindicator. Okay, this is one of the uh, pretty good cards of the set. I think um, between $15 and $20 maybe, and that's in US dollars. So that is a nice pickup. I actually picked this up when I opened my last set booster. And I'm going to show you what I got actually in that pack, in that box. I was kind of hoping that that's the box I had filmed because uh, it was pretty good. But, you know, I have a feeling we might get another good one here. At least an equivalent one. So Spells of Magic, yeah, we're getting those uh, booster boxes. We're getting our product uh, apparently in the next coming month or so. So let me know. I'd like to know if you guys are involved in these Kickstarters, if you've backed them, and if you are receiving also some product of these uh, TCGs coming out in 2023. So another one, well, no presentation needed. I mean, it's been talked about by a lot of YouTubers uh, all over in the past few months, and that is Sorcery. That is a game out of Auckland, just like Flesh and Blood back out of uh, Australia, which we will be getting also in the next um, month or so. I think they've been received in the uh, Canadian Customs actually here and uh, just awaiting for shipment uh, pretty soon. Invo evolved a Spinoderm. And that's about it for this pack. We'll get into the commons and the rest. All right, so... So uh, Sorcery is coming very, very soon. So again, just like Spells of Magic, we uh, are expecting those uh, receiving our Kickstarter products within the next month, month and a, month and a half or so. Uh, tops. And then there is another Kickstarter game that I um, backed, which uh, will not probably see the light of day. And this is a Titan, Pantheon of the Gods. Fortunately, I didn't back it for... Uh, for a ton of money, like 600 and something, 600, like six booster boxes, uh, no more than that. And uh, apparently that will not come to fruition. And by the way, that is the second time that uh, I, I was talking to the distributor of uh, Flesh and Blood earlier in the week. And he was telling me that, um, yeah, he was supposed to carry the product that initially was being made by, this is by Game Zoo, by the way. And uh, out of San Francisco, USA. And uh, they messed up, apparently, their first product or the name. Of the, it had a different name or similar name, and it never came out. They just uh, kept going, though, for, uh, for the production of Titan, Pantheon of the Gods. And now it seems that uh, that is going up in flames. So if you back to that product, you probably will not see their, the product and probably will not see your money back either. 
Remember, you are taking a little bit of a risk there when you are so caught here. Fire of resistance, a couple of bucks, a Planeswalker uh, rare here that I probably, and I think I picked up in the other box, you will see another um, commander card here. I haven't uh, had that many in the other box, so it looks like we're getting our fair share in this one. All right, so that is, uh, yeah, so Titan, uh, Pantheon of the Gods, forget about it, like they would say in the, uh, in those mafia movies, forget about it. Anyway, I'm not very good at that. Maybe some of you... Oh, here we go with uh, Elephant Grass. Uh, a, a very... Uh, so, what is this? Um, five, right? So, <laughs> Corset 5, I guess. Maybe? Yeah. I wasn't into magic at that time. So, so here's another uh, card from the list. Uh, and our foil. And look at that. Our rare is Kaito, Dancing Shadow. Another plane wa Planeswalker here. And, uh, and yeah, and the rest. All right, so the next TCG I want to tell you about is, uh, well, the next one that I backed, so four basically that I've, uh, that I've been waiting for. One, like I just mentioned, that will not come to fruition, that I will never get probably. Well, I might be wrong, but it seems, you know, it seems like it. Uh, people are in the comment section there. Um, when you go to the, to the page, your, uh, your home page in the Kickstarter, where you get people commenting about the uh, the TCG, the new TCG, the Kickstarter that they supported. Uh, people are, you know, saying, are asking questions and they're not getting answered. So it doesn't look uh, promising. All right. So the last one that I did uh, back that we are also waiting for in the next few months, um, actually not even the next few months, probably the next few weeks, is Grand Archive. It's any day now, basically. And that's by, as you know, uh, probably maybe Weaves of the Shore, are the uh, makers of this uh, new TCG, and that has a lot of promise. Apparently, the gameplay is a lot of fun, from what I've heard, and we will be, actually, once I receive this, I probably am going to open at least one box, one booster box of each, just to see what it looks like, and uh, maybe entice, uh, see if you guys are interested in, uh, and find out, basically, if you guys will be collecting that, also, just like I will. So, uh, M Corset uh, 19, to, uh, Corset 19 here, as again, as a uh, list card, our foil, and what do we get here? Glissa Sunslayer. I'll show you in a sec what I got in the last box. So, and the rest. Actually, let me pick those up over here. Okay. So, these are the cards I got last time in, well, yeah, in a last uh, set booster box. So, I got uh, basically uh, Ikramoon Gauntlet, a very good card from this set. Sword of Forge and Frontier, obviously. So, these are like um, something like in the $25 range, $20 range. Uh, Phyrexia Vindicator, which we've picked up uh, again here that you just saw a, little, a few minutes ago. And, and the Planeswalkers. Uh, worth a little less here, maybe three, four dollars each, uh, something like that. Nisa, Luca, and Koth that we've seen also here. So yeah, those are basically the mythic rares that I picked up in the first booster, booster box that I opened. So uh, there you go. Okay, so don't forget, let me know which of those uh, TCG Kickstarters that you uh, that you guys got involved with. How many? How much are you getting? And uh, what do you think? Like, are you anticipating? Uh, uh, promising stuff going on with these and in the future so here is another card from the list we're getting a lot here one in four packs supposedly and um, moment uh, monument to perfection is our rare and nothing else okay so let's get to Lorcana okay now I know you guys have uh, maybe been watching some other YouTubers talk about it and uh, gone on their website and so on and so forth so I don't know how much you've uh, found out about them but Personally, I think it is looking very promising. Here's another card, Crypt Rats, from the list. Looking very promising for a couple reasons, which uh, we can talk about here. Uh, it has a lot of things going for it, first of all. Um, the very fact that it's going to be supported by a large budget. Now, remember, this is uh, Lorcana is a Disney TCG by uh, Ravensburger. And coming out, actually, later this year... I believe uh, August 18th is the date for the first set. And what is interesting is that uh, they've already laid out um, a lot of the things that will be going on with this uh, with this new TCG. Oh, Capricious uh, Hellraiser. Oh, here we go. This is our next uh, Mythic Rare. Okay, we're getting Kaya. Um, it's borderless, basically. Uh, rare. 
and and the rest. Yeah, so a lot of things going for Lorcana. Um, the basically the big budget thing that has the potential of uh, pretty quickly being in competition with uh, Pokemon and Magic: The Gathering, obviously. And uh, don't 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 count out actually. Uh, uh, my, 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 my favorite here, uh, Flesh and Blood. Um, as you know, this uh, very channel was created uh, fabulous, as in FAB for Flesh and Blood, and then we just uh, made up a name that we thought was cool. Um, Flesh and Blood being uh, one of the tops, you know, to me, the top four will be, you know, five years down the, down the line, we will be talking about, Evolve uh, Spinoderm here, we will be talking about Flesh and Blood, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, and probably Lorcana, right? Anyway, so will I be... Well, before I talk to you about my collecting it or not, let me just go over a few things here. Um, interesting game mechanics. Uh, Lorcana is uh, you know, going to present to us, uh, as opposed to a lot of the games that are out there, TCGs, uh, where you are bringing your uh, opponent's life down to zero. Here it will be, oh, all will be one. Okay, that's uh, really the uh, the name of the uh, set and one of the pretty fairly good cards also. So let's put this down over here. And what are we getting here? We're getting another, we'll get Koth again in its, uh, in its borderless version here. Okay, rare. Here we go with another rather eternal wanderer. A couple of rares here and a mythic rare. So pretty good pack, don't you think? Okay. So, uh, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so the game mechanics will be a little different in the sense that you will be, uh, it seems, accumulating what they call lore, right? And uh, you need to reach a certain amount of lore to win the game instead of bringing your opponent's life counter down to zero. It, you uh, will be having, you will have the responsibility of bringing your own lore up to, I don't know how many points, but it seems that that's the way it's going to be working. So a little bit different, a little bit like, um, a little bit with the, the concept of uh, Keyforge, if any of you are familiar with that. Um, the very inventor of Magic the Gathering, his, uh, his, uh, one of his latest creations, right? So... There we go with that, our foil. So yeah, um, basically another appeal that it has, another thing going for it will be the fact that, you know, Disney characters, first of all, uh, we've grown up with the, with Disney characters and we know them and uh, I've had a look through some of the cards that will be coming out in their first set and uh, yeah, you know, Robin Hood and uh, Maleficent and uh, all Mickey Mouse and, you know, the, some of the most popular ones for their first set, which, uh, which will be called actually the first chapter. Um, speaking of sets, I talked to you about the fact that it's going to be obviously a big budget, uh, you know, it will be supported by a large amount of money, a large amount of money, and, um, and a very nice uh, product line is something that we've discovered already, so that, no good, because, uh, there will have, you know, starter decks, a bunch, of, I think three or six, is it three or six, for the first set, different, uh, might be three. Um, different starter deaths to get people uh, going. You know, they have booster packs, booster boxes. They have uh, um, a kit that is called uh, Starter Kit where you will find some uh, boosters in there as well as some starter decks, I believe. And there will be an, there's also going to be another product that's going to be uh, akin to or similar to what you find with uh, uh, in Magic and Pokemon. Pokemon being the trainer box, elite trainer box, and in Magic the Gathering being the bundle. Okay, so they have something simil similar to that, where you're going to have um, probably even a booklet of rules and a summary of all the cards in the set, which is what, you know, Magic, Magic the Gathering used to do, and they stopped that at one point, and I really like that because it helped with the inventory, if you're invent in invent inventory, mm -hmm. tough for a French guy to say that word, it seems. Um, yeah, so I kind of like that idea, and obviously booster packs and so on and so forth, so I like that. Here we go with another list card. Uh, the idea that they will have that product also uh, in their product line. So uh, they're all set and ready to go with that in, in August. And um, so not only have they established and given us an idea of the product line they're going to be carrying, but also... Um, they have established already and told us that there will be four sets per year. So, which is what we perfectly, you know, Magic, remember Magic the Gathering, that's exactly, here we go with another one. 
Uh, that's exactly what we had. Red Sun's Twilight. Okay, we had the white. Now we have the red. Um, and that's exactly what we used to have also with Magic before they started to do uh, all those reprints and those jump starts and the, uh, you know, the uh, remasters and whatever. And the Caldo. I mean, it, what is it? The last two years we've had like eight sets per year on Magic the Gathering, counting obviously the four standard sets and all the extras. And that is, uh, well, as most of us think anyway, uh, way too much. A little too much. It used to be every three months, and uh, that was seemed to be, and that was perfect for a year. And that's what Lorcana is promising to come out with four sets per year. So another, you know, positive uh, outlook towards that will be we'll have enough time to play the sets uh, three months, and uh, by the time the next one comes out, well, we'll be due. Like we said, we'll be anxious. And waiting for the next one is it's a perfect uh, time i think a lot of people will agree a lot say three sets per year but three or four is basically uh basically it. oh here we go with uh, nahiri the unforgiving this time so planeswalker uh, another uh, mythic rare from this sub uh, box so yeah so another thing going for it i guess and um they are intending to having you know obviously the yeah, LGSs will be, um, you know, center in uh, very important in uh, developing, having the game grow because they have already uh, mentioned that they want to have a very, uh, you know, be organized play, um, just like Magic and Flesh and Blood has in LGSs. So, you know, there should be our Lord Cannon Knight uh, from now on, from, you know, in uh, your local LGS. And actually... Actually, um, you know, because it's such a promising TCG, most LGSs will get involved and probably will, you know, do these, uh, have, be carrying these uh, Lord Cannon Knights, whatever they're going to call them. So, um, yeah, everything, a lot of things look promising. So, oh, here we go with a finally Marlena Federina or Federiva, Federiva, anyway. Okay, so a signed card, 1 in 20 about. And uh, yeah, that's a good token. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep that. Mirex. And a bunch of nothing here. Yeah. So, um, so very, yeah, very well organized. It looks promising. And uh, guess what? Am I going to be collecting? Well, from everything I've seen so far, and like, you know, I've probably hinted it enough to you by now. Yeah, I'm going to be collect i'm telling you as long as you don't mention it in the comment sections in the comment sections to to to, to josie right i don't want her knowing that i'm gonna be collecting another tcg and that the house will be filling up once again and that she won't have any room to put her dresses and her and her um and all her clothing because uh my tcgs are taking up all the all the, all the space that's crazy look at that nisa got it foil anyway okay another and uh, is that the last pack? No, second to last pack. And we're getting here a Mercurial Spell Dancer and uh, the rest of the cards. Yeah, so uh, I think I'm going to be a sucker for Lorcana. Um, you know, being in right from the beginning, it's always fun. You know, you've had uh, right from the first set, you have it all if, you, if you're... If you're uh, if you're going with the game and you keep going and using you know collecting it and having it all the time well you're going to have it from the right from the start and that's always fun venerated uh rock priest okay and uh, basically that means we're going to get nothing here so let me know what you think are you guys getting involved in Lorcana? what do you think of uh, what you've seen so far what we've talked about here today and uh and yeah that's it for another set booster um until our next uh video you guys oh let's have a last look here we got a bunch of cards from the list but uh yeah so a couple of Planeswalkers here, and uh, all will be one. I didn't have it. Capricious Hellraiser, second copy of this one. But um, overall, I guess an okay bond. Well, didn't get anything. Not None of the top cards, but um, yeah, what can we say? I don't know. I haven't opened enough of these to, to be able to say it's an average box. But I'll say it's average here. I won't say it's a good box, and not certainly not a very good box. But, uh, you know, not bad as well. Okay, so until the next video, you guys, hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget the thumbs up, and we'll be seeing you pretty soon. Take care, and see you soon. Bye-bye.